Hello everybody! We all know that nowadays we are facing the global warming problem and the population is growing plus the fossil fuels are running out. That's why lots of research is being conducted in order to use nuclear fusion as a way to produce energy. But first of all, what is nuclear fusion? Well, it is a reaction where two light atoms, usually hydrogen atoms, is combine and form a heavier atom with a lot of energy released. And I took here the example of two isotopes of hydrogen, the deuterium that you can find in ocean and seas, and tritium that you can produce from lithium. So when they will combine in a temperature of 150 million degrees Celsius, they will form a neutron and a helium atom with a lot of energy released. What are the conditions needed in order to let the reaction occur? Well, first of all, we need high temperature and we also need high pressure. What all this? You know that when we put two nuclei that have both of them a positive charge in front of each other, so the electrical force will push them away. That's why in high temperature, the two nuclei will collide in high speed. Where does the nuclear fusion happen? Well, it is the main energy that powers the stars, even our sun, and it is the basic reaction that happens in the universe. What about Earth? Are we actually producing electricity using nuclear fusion? Well, no. But stay optimistic, because there is an international project called ITER, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, located in south of France, where they are aiming to build a big reactor in order to produce energy using nuclear fusion. So, as you see here in the picture, in the heart of the reactor there is a tokamak, where a magnetic field is applied in order to hold the plasma. So, when the energy is released, it will boil the water, which will be transformed into steam, turning the turbine, and finally, it will produce electricity. And I can tell you that nuclear fusion is the energy of the future, because it is a limitless and harmless source of energy without greenhouse effects, and if we compare it to oil, 60 kilograms of fusion fuel can produce as much energy as 250,000 tons of oil. Thanks for watching and bye!